why critical thinking is so important today, never before, especially in the 21st century, is because of the wealth of information that is, that is before us. As someone quoted, the internet, it's the best vandalized library in the world. All right, somebody can put something, somebody can go and change it, somebody can, anybody can post. Any Tom, Dick, Harry, Raju, Akau, and Ali can put things on the internet. You have to be discerning. You have to decide what is relevant, what is not, what is accurate, what I can accept, what I should not accept. And that is why critical thinking is very, very important. You cannot get up today and tell yourself, right, today I'm going to be a critical thinker. There are tools involved. And critical thinking is a habit. It is a habit that takes time. I would like to, this is an important quote, I would say. Much of our thinking left to itself, all right, left to itself is biased, distorted, partial, uninformed, or downright prejudiced. Now, yet the quality of our life and what we produce, make, or build depends precisely on the quality of our thoughts. Shoddy thinking is costly, both in money and in the quality of life. And because of the wealth of information, we also have many, many choices. It's not like before. Before you had just a handful. Now you have a lot of choices. And therefore, you have to make the right decision. And that's why critical thinking is so important. Now, just like a carpenter, a carpenter needs to have the right tools before he can start his work. In critical thinking, we talk about the components of critical thinking. Right? The components, I start off the definition, and then we move on to critical thinking standards, which are very important, and then it would be barriers to critical thinking. Now, definition. Definition, understanding critical thinking. Now before that, I would like you to reflect. In some ways, this is a dual carriage kind of a, 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 um, a talk. Right? You need to sit. Today, life is so busy, so hectic. We do not have time to reflect. We don't even have time to analyze our reasoning. Now, I'm going to give you just two minutes. Just sit back and ask yourself, what is critical thinking to you? What do you understand by critical thinking? Just two minutes. Very important. You don't need to discuss with the person next to you and say, what do you think about critical thinking? No. You ask yourself, you think, what is critical thinking to you? lacking in education today is getting people first to think and see what they think before you give information to them. All right? That's very important, what your thoughts are, because that is the interaction and that actually is the learning aspect of it, not the one person giving and the absorption, no. Now, critical thinking. Anybody would like to share what they think critical thinking is? Yes, thank you. Oh, you are waving to her. All right, fine. <laughs> anybody, anybody brave enough? Yes. Of 
separate the facts from the heart. Okay. Separate the flowers from the weeds. Okay. Separate whatever from the weeds. Anybody else? I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong. Huh? Thank you, Dr. Yes, you have a wide variety, but also asking yourself in retrospect now, why did I choose the color? That is very, very important. And we don't seem to have time to do that. We need to analyze our own thinking. And right and rightly so, there are there are critical thinking standards that we need to abide, that we need to know. Uh, thank you, thank you for that sharing. Critical thinking is not negative. I've had sessions when I've asked people, what is critical thinking? And they would say, to criticize. And that's wrong. Critical thinking is not to criticize, but it is not negative. Now, it involves exercises on skilled judgment and observation. That is very important, and that takes time. Now, a good critical thinker has the cognitive skills, cognitive skills, thinking skills, all right, and intellectual disposition, which I will show you afterwards what it means, intellectual dispositions, needed to effectively identify, analyze, and evaluate arguments and truth claims. Actually, when people ask you what is critical thinking, critical thinking is actually the search for the truth. The truth value in what you read, in what you see, and in what you hear. That is critical thinking. <coughs> because the truth value, you get the truth value after you have analyzed right? or evaluated. What tools are you using to analyze and to evaluate? What is your yardstick? Now, when I talk, when we refer to um, intellectual disposition, now this is the disposition. Disposition is the characteristic that you embody, that you have, that you strive for. Intellectual humility, intellectual integrity, courage, perseverance, confidence in reason, fair-mindedness, and intellectual autonomy. Now, uh, let me tell you, it is not easy achieving this. It is difficult, it's a habit, and it's constant, and we have to be very much aware all the time of our thinking. Okay. Critical thinking standards, this is what we're talking about. Critical thinking standards, what are the critical thinking standards? The first one is this. Clarity. Okay. Clarity, which is true, can be expressed clearly. Clarity is an expression or sign of intelligence. Obscurity goes to show that someone doesn't really understand. Okay. Clarity is this. Clarity is just being very, very clear. And let me give you an example. Many times we like to say things like this. Most. Majority. That's not being very clear. Right? We use one incident and then we come out with most and majority. When someone gives us a statement, when you read something, 
most majority. We need to clarify. We cannot take it as, as they would say, gospel truth. You have to take it with a pinch of salt. You have to look back and see, as I would do with the other standards as well, where is the source? So being clear here means being in your statement as in this. I will meet you, I will meet you, this is a very clear statement. I will meet you at exactly five o'clock at the second entrance, which is a blue door at, U, at Utah. Let's be very, very clear. But saying something like, okay, I'll meet you at 5 o'clock in Utah. Where? Alright? Clarity. Okay. Next. Precision. Precision is being very, very specific. The statement I gave you just now was clear and precise. Alright? Many, many a time, it's very common now. What time shall I meet you? 5 o'clock. Okay, six-ish. Yes. What is five-ish and what is six-ish? Is it, does it mean six, nearer 6.15, nearer 6.30? Now, when someone says something like this, we do not keep quiet. The critical thinker would not. The critical thinker would say, right, what exactly do you mean by five-ish? And if the person doesn't want to come, it, maybe around 5.30. Then you would say, would it be closer to seven? And then the person would say, yes, closer to seven. <laughs> your job, your job actually, is to try and get the precise and clear details. And not to leave it as it is and assume. A lot of problems arise because we assume. All right, we assume what? Two, we don't have time. Okay, okay, I'll meet you at five-ish. Uh, now, that is being precise. Now, accuracy. Now, accuracy here is uh, this. You can be very clear, but you may not be accurate. Uh, and let's say, garbage in, garbage out. Okay. Now, being accurate here, I will go back to you. Now. So, I will wait for you, I'll give you the same sentence. I will wait for you at 5 o'clock in front of the second entrance at the time. Right? Now that is being very, very clear, but being very precise. But it may not be accurate because it may not be truthful. All right. All right? Now, it may not be truthful in a sense, well, I may not need you at all. Understand, I may not be, I may not meet you at all. I'm being very clear, I'm being very precise, all right, but I'm not being very accurate, sincere, accurate in that sense. Truthful. Accuracy is, a, is very much linked to being truthful. So when someone gives us a statement, more so when we read, we need to be very, very careful. We need to practice the critical thinking standards. Now, relevant. Relevance here is directly related or connected to the issue. Later on, when I do logical fallacies with you, you will realize, you will see uh, the, how people, you know, they are not relevant. They use fallacies. Now, relevant, this is an example I use. Relevant to your argument. Facts must be related. Now, when we have, we have, some of us have children, all right, and especially some of the, the students here. Every time we want an increase in allowance, all right, every now and then we want an increase in allowance. Now, we go up to our parents, all right, and we ask our parents, you know, for next month, can I please have an increase in allowance? <laughs> all right, I need more money. What is the first thing parents do? And I'm guilty of it as well. What's the first thing our parents would do? Would do or say? Come on. Those are our parents and those and the students. What's the first thing your parents would say? Or a parent would say? Why do you need more money? Okay, what else? 
after they find out why they need more money, that was the next thing they would say. That's enough. No, 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 no. Not that's enough. The next thing they would say is this. During my time, I only received this, 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 this. Correct enough. Yes. And I always tell my students, but I tell them, please don't go and tell your parents I said that. Because I'm a parent myself. But the argument is not relevant. The point put forward is not relevant because of inflation. During that time, with 50 cents, we could buy a bowl of meat, a drink, and even have time for dessert, which is maybe two sweets. But today, you can't get very much with 50 cents. So when you say, during my time, and in, ho in hope that you would convince your child, you know, or I mean, to convince the, the person that, no, I'm not going to give you a raise, is, is, is the, the argument put forward is not relevant, it's not logical, relevant. The details must be relevant. 